Welcome to HSRP. It's the hot standby routing protocol, a Cisco proprietary protocol that provides default gateway fault tolerance between routers in case the primary gateway becomes unavailable. And although it's proprietary, it is still described in RFC 2281. That's something you can have a look at. Here's the topology that we'll be using and that will be available on CCIE or die.com. I'll leave the link below. It's a simple topology. The R1 and R2 routers are addressed at 172.16.1.10 and .1.20 respectively. This PC down here is my actual PC on my desktop and they will be connecting to this virtual gateway 172.16.1.15 eventually. But first, let's have a look at how we've set up my PC. My PC is actually a cloud representation of a link to my physical PC on my desk. And we set that up through a cloud and a VMware network adapter. You can also do that through MS uh, Loopback or a variety of other ways that you can find on, on the internet. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on that, but let's quickly take a look at the property settings in IPv4, and you'll see that my PC is set to connect with the GNS3 environment 172.16.1.100. The gateway that we'll eventually be use, utilizing is 1.15. So now let's take a look to make sure that we can connect from the PC to our virtual network. So let's ping 172.16.1.10, which is R1, and we have a reply. That's a good thing. And now let's ping 1.20. So we have connectivity from my PC through the virtual switch to these two virtual routers. So let's begin by installing HSRP. First we'll go to config T and to just double check on our interfaces we'll do a do show IP interface brief and we see 172.16.1.10 is indeed our FA0 slash 0 so we'll go into that interface and we will begin by initializing HSRP with standby, hot standby routing protocol, and initializes with the standby command. We're going to issue the group one to identify it, and the IP that we're going to use for the gateway is 172.16.1.15. We'll continue with stand group one. And we'll set the priority. The default priority, by the way, is 100. We'll set our priority for 110. I like to distinguish the priorities away from the defaults. The default in the case of HSRP won't show up in the running config. So this will definitely distinguish it in the running config. And then we'll simply do a stand group one and we'll preempt in case of a failure. And that's really it for router one you'll see that the state changes have happened already if we do a do show stand it will show that it is is active if we do a do show stand brief we'll see that we don't have a standby notice it says unknown at this point until we initialize r2 so we'll do that right now config t interface f0 slash zero Standby group one IP will be the same 172.16.1.15. Stand group one priority. We'll set this one lower so it'll be the standby 90 and then stand preempt in the case of failure. So now we'll go back to our DOS prompt. We'll make sure we can ping the gateway, 172.16.1.15, and we can. I'm going to give it a second, and there it comes. Notice it was taking some time waiting for the state change here for HSRP. So if we do a 
do so stand brief on R2, we'll see that the local is the standby. The active is 1.10. Now we'll set a constant ping towards our gateway 172.16.1.15 minus T to constantly ping and we will shut down our connection to R1 shut. And notice there'll be state changes and a timeout for the, the ping, but eventually it will pick back up. There's the state change, and here comes our replies. So we know that we are working. So no animals were hurt during the course of this video, and I hope you watch for the next video, which will continue from this topology and progress forward with some more technology. Thanks for watching.